What's going on guys? Welcome back to see you out there. Welcome back to a Wednesday how-to video guys. Today we're going to talk about waxing your boat. I get a lot of questions about boat maintenance. I get a lot of questions about maintaining the boat. As you guys know we have the 17 foot yellowfin and we have the 22 foot century bay. Uh, I do not have a cover for these boats. They stay outside full time. Obviously the century has a t-top so that helps a little bit keep the sun off of it. We all know that sun is very damaging to our gel coats. It's very damaging to our cushions. It's very bad for our boats. So the best way to combat this, guys, is to keep a layer of wax on your boat. Well, waxing a boat's a pain. You gotta, you gotta wash the boat. You gotta dry the boat. You gotta apply the wax. You gotta buff the wax off. There's a lot of steps to waxing a boat, guys. Well, I'm gonna show you today a way to wax your boat in about 15 minutes with a leave-on wax that is revolutionary and it's amazing, guys. I'm not sponsored by these guys. I wish I was. This product is phenomenal, guys. So we're gonna talk about woody wax. I don't know if you've ever heard of woody wax. Get this stuff on Amazon for about $35 a bottle. And what Woody Wax is, is a leave-on application wax. I know you're skeptical, you're like, there's no way you can wax your boat and leave it on there and it do a good job. Well, I've already washed the elephant. I've already cleaned it. She's already good, ready to go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the big camera up. I'm gonna put a nice little layer of water on this like I just finished washing it. And I'm gonna take you through the steps of applying Woody Wax to your boat to wax every surface. Gel coat, plastic, paint, aluminum, Whatever you've got on your boat, you can wax it with this stuff. So we're gonna go through it really quick, guys. Uh, let's get into it now. The fastest way in the world to wax your boat using Woody Wax. Yo! Alright y'all, let's talk about Woody Wax for a second, then we'll talk about application. Woody Wax is this amazing stuff, guys. I'm gonna put it on here for the can for a second. No rubbing, no buffing, wet application. What this stuff does, how it works, I have no idea, guys. This stuff works on aluminum, works on stainless, removes water spots, restores corroded aluminum, works on non-skid deck, works on non-slick, works on everything, guys, and it's a corrosion blocker. So what this stuff is, is it's a wax, it's a spray wax, it's in a spray bottle, and all we're gonna do is once the boat is clean and wet, we're gonna spray this, guys, and be careful with this. I'm telling you, I have waxed the yellowfin to the point that Corey can't even walk around on it. It's so slippery. So don't think this stuff is a joke. Don't think this stuff, you're gonna have to use the whole bottle the first time. A little bit goes a long ways. And then what we're gonna apply it with is just a standard soft bristle brush. You can tell by the fibers on this brush, this is what I use for waxing a boat. Um, it's just a soft bristle, soft bristle uh, handled broom or boat brush. That's all this is, guys, nothing big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wet the boat again because we've been doing the intro here. We're gonna wet the boat down and then I'm gonna show you how to apply this stuff, guys. All right, guys, so all I'm gonna do is wet the boat down um, like we just finished washing it. Again, it dried up uh, while I was doing the intro. So we're just gonna wet the boat down. Uh, like I said, I've already cleaned it. We're gonna give our 17 yellow fin just a little rinsing. All surfaces, guys, everything's good. Painted, aluminum, metal, motor cowling, everything. We're gonna wet it all down. Just got home from fishing. All right, guys, everything's wet now. So all you do now is you take your woody wax and you apply it evenly around the boat. Small sprays on the bow, obviously on the 17 foot skiff, it's a little bit easier because it's a smaller boat. It doesn't take as much, but we're gonna take our woody wax. We're gonna shake it up really good and then watch how easy this is. We're gonna spray this on the wet surface. All right, guys, let's go to the other side and hit it. I'm actually probably putting too much of this on here. A little bit on the motor. We like that 115 show to shine. It does not take a lot, guys. Um, just a little bit goes a long way. And once your brush picks up all that wax, it continues to spread it. So you don't need to apply in every location. That bristles on the brush will get so covered with this stuff that it'll continue spreading. 
All right, so now that that's on there, the boat is wet, we've got our woody wax everywhere. What we're gonna do now is take our soft bristle brush, and we're gonna start spreading it. All right, guys, now holding a camera and a scrub brush, we're gonna take and spread that woody wax all over our boat. Every surface, guys, everything. All right, let me step away and let me get this all spread for you guys. All right, guys, I'm a little winded. Everything is spread. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you on the motor, the application, so you can see the wax going on. I feel like you can see it better on there. So hopefully you can see, we sprayed the wax on. Now watch as I take this brush. It's actually spreading an amazing wax on here, guys. You can see that wax coat going on as I wipe down this Yamaha 115 SHO. And that is applying a solid coat of wax. I mean, you can clearly see that we have just added wax to this thing, guys. So all we're gonna do is rub this in everywhere. You don't have to, you don't have to buff it. You don't have to rub it in everywhere. Sorry, I'm winded. I'm out here freaking waxing a boat with a camera in my hand. It's applied, guys. The entire boat is now waxed. We have waxed the entire yellowfin. See it going on the rod holders, console, deck of the boat, gas cap, all of our aluminum on the boat. You can see the wax going on there, guys. Everywhere. Polling platform, everything gets it. Power pole, the whole nine yards. New boat owners, don't wax your prop, guys. <laughs> I learned that the hard way years ago when I got into this game. Don't wax your prop, y'all. Anyway, guys, you get the point. The entire boat is wax. So all we're gonna do now in the dying afternoon sun, it's late in the afternoon, I just got home from work, is we're gonna let the sun dry this boat. We're gonna let it dry naturally, and that wax will adhere to the fiberglass, it'll adhere to the gel coat, the metal, everything. And then at that point in time, this boat is waxed. It's done. You are finished. You don't have anything else to do. I typically rinse it just because I like to see the water beat up. So let's let this chill for a few minutes. Let's let this dry. Hopefully we got enough sunlight fading sun here in the afternoon hope we've got enough time to let the sun set let this dry and i can rinse it for you guys so let's let it go a couple minutes see if it'll dry out for us but we have just waxed a boat in seven minutes ten minutes guys guarantee granted this is a 17 foot skiff if you've got a 32 foot contender or you got a 42 foot freeman it may take you a little longer but you get the idea if i was the hand wax hand polish a 17 foot skiff you can do the sides with this stuff as well you can do everything it would take me a couple hours to do the sides and take me a couple hours to do the side uh, the inside is a different wax a non-skid wax versus a side wax it's all different this stuff is a one application all materials go so let's let this sit for a few minutes hopefully we got enough sunlight to dry this thing out we'll show you the results and we'll close it out guys <music> Right, guys the boat's had about 20 minutes to dry uh, I'm not gonna be able to let it go all the way to bone dry because like I said it's late in the afternoon and I am losing sunlight here so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this thing off just kind of show you a finished product uh, I guarantee this stuff is awesome I guarantee it works and you'll love it so let me go ahead and rinse this thing off real quick and then we'll close this video out guys so you can see on that leg where we applied the wax you can see it beating guys look had not been waxed in quite a while guys i've not done a good job keeping this thing waxed that's why it's important i do it now 
But check this out as I rinse it off and watch the water beat up and run off, guys. All right, guys, now for the test. Y'all saw me wax that motor. Let's take a look at it when we rinse it off. That is very clearly got a coat of wax on it, y'all. I'm telling you, this stuff's amazing. Unbelievable how well this stuff works, guys. Look at that. SHO is ready to hit the bay right now, y'all. We're going to finish rinsing this thing off and close this video up. But I'm telling you guys, if you're looking for a quick and easy way to wax your boat after a fishing trip, before a fishing trip, woody wax is the way to go, man. It doesn't get any easier than this. Check this out. Quick and easy, down and dirty guys, it does not get any easier than woody wax. You guys, I know I've got buddies that have big cape horns, 32 footers and whatnot, tuna fish a lot, a lot of blood on the boat, and they'll do this prior to going. So before going fishing trip, pull the boat out of the barn, pull it out of the yard, wherever it's at, wet it down real good, put a coat of woody wax on it for the day, and that's a nice barrier to keep the blood stains from sticking. Us marsh guys, polling guys, what's our biggest issue? Mud. We get stuck in the mud, we gotta pull out of the mud, we get muddy feet printed on the boat. My biggest problem is the leaves. The leaves fall out of these willow trees and they stay in the boat. Well, this helps defend against that, guys. This wax is not gonna last a month or six weeks. It's not gonna last forever. This is a, a daily application, weekly application, whatever you wanna call it. I use it after every fishing trip. I come home, I rinse the boat out. Either one of them, I put a coat of woodies on it really fast, and it helps protect the boat from the sun, from the elements, from the willow leaves. It helps protect against the marsh mud. It helps protect against blood, and it makes cleanup when you get home so much easier. Do you still need to apply a real coat of carnauba base wax to the hull and to the top side occasionally? Yeah, probably. You might want to do that, but if you keep consistent with this and you keep a nice coat of wax on your boat, I don't see a reason why you'd ever need to go to a hard, old-fashioned, non-skid wax or hull wax. If you steadily apply this stuff and you build that barrier, that protection up, stuff is amazing, guys. Again, remember, I'm not endorsed by Woody Wax. I'm not sponsored. This is just an amazing product I found through just life on the water, and it's something I want to share with you guys. So y'all go on Amazon, go to your local West Marine, go to your local tackle shop, uh, your local marine supply store. Pick up a bottle of Woody Wax and give it a try. I guarantee you guys, you're going to be blown away at how fast it applies and how easy it is. This boat is still soaking wet. I'm going to leave her just like this. That water is going to evaporate. That woody wax is on there. It's done. I'm finished, guys. When I go fishing this weekend, I'll rinse this boat out really quick. I'll chunk her in the water, and we're good. Thanks again for everything, guys. Hope you enjoy these how-to videos. They're doing really well. Uh, analytics are showing that you guys really do enjoy our how-to videos. Uh, the how-to playlist is one of our most watched, most watched playlists right now. Uh, we're super excited, guys. Thank you for everything. And uh, as usual, we'll see you out there.